In this video, let us start a new topic called as cyclic quadrilateral. So, any quadrilateral is called a cyclic quadrilateral if all its vertices lie on a circle. Just like this. Now, let us draw a circle. So, now let us look into what is called as a cyclic quadrilateral. So, it says that all its vertices should lie on a circle or on the circumference of a circle. So, something like this. Let us draw a line, one line of a quadrilateral, which is a four sided closed figure. So, here we have another line, here we have another, the third line, and then here we have the fourth line. So, if you notice carefully here, all of the vertices of the given quadrilateral or the drawn quadrilateral lie on a circle very clearly. Let us name it A, B, C, D. So, this is called as a cyclic quadrilateral. But what is not a cyclic quadrilateral? Let us look into that. It should be a pretty straightforward thing because if any one of its vertices doesn't lie on the circumference of a circle, then that is not a cyclic quadrilateral, just like this. So, here we have a circle. This is a four sided closed figure, it is a quadrilateral. But is this a cyclic quadrilateral? No, it's not a cyclic quadrilateral. If you can notice here, there are four vertices A, B, C, D, out of which only three vertices lie on the circumference of a circle, that is A, B, and D. The vertex C does not lie on the circumference of a circle, it is lying inside the circle. So this is not a cyclic quadrilateral. This is a cyclic quadrilateral. So, this ends this video. In the forthcoming videos, let us look into some important properties of cyclic quadrilateral.